What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn what the differences are between libraries, packages, and modules in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so this is going to be quite simple and straightforward. We're going to learn what the differences are between libraries, packages, and modules in Python today. Now, when I open a terminal and install something using pip, so when I say pip or pip reinstall, I usually say that I'm installing an external Python package. However, this might actually not always be 100% correct because sometimes I might actually be installing a library. And I oftentimes say we import a package, we import a library, we import a module, and I'm not necessarily always using the correct terminology 100% of the time, which I don't think is a problem. I'm going to continue to do it the way I do it. But in this video today, you are going to learn the exact correct terminology for these three things, when to use what. So let's start right away with a simple structure here. The basic idea is that a model is a Python file with some functionality, classes, functions, methods, and so on. And then a package contains multiple modules and a library contains multiple modules and packages. So we can start by saying I have my lib here and in my lib I have a directory package one, for example, then I might have package two and package three. And inside of the packages I can have some module one, I can have a module two, I can have a module three, of course, you can call them whatever you want here. These are just example names. And there you go. And then also, I might have outside of this library, a script, a script is a Python file that is meant to be run, uh, so that you can actually execute some code. So main py is not a package, not a module, not a library, it's a script. So the basic idea now is that each package contains a so called init file. So underscore underscore init underscore underscore py. That is what marks this as a package. So I can just put it here, put it here and also put it here. And then also I can have here another module without a package. So I can have some module py also outside of the packages. And this is now the structure and these are the names you should be using if I'm in my script and I'm importing something. If I import my lib, I'm importing a library. If my lib is something that I can install using pip, I'm installing a library that contains multiple packages and modules. If I import my lib package one, I'm importing a package from my lib. And I can of course also say from my lib import package one. That is a package that I'm importing here. I can also import from my lib package one I can import a specific module, all of it. So the full module. And then of course, this module might have multiple functions, I can have my function one in here, which returns hello, and I can copy it, I can have a my function two, and then my function two returns world, for example. And I can also just import specific functions from the module of the package of the library. So I can say from my lib, package one, module one, import, and then my function one, and then I can call it like this. So that is the basic difference here. Um, maybe to understand this a little bit better, let's go ahead and use matplotlib as an example here. Matplotlib itself is a library, it actually has it in the name already, it has a lib at the end, which stands for library. So matplotlib in and of itself is a library. Now, matplotlib has multiple packages, I can say matplotlib dot, and you can see, we have modules which are here with the Python symbols, but we also have this directory symbol here, which is actually uh, a package. So for example, matplotlib dot backends is a package. And then I can press uh, dot again. And you can see we have multiple modules here. So backend of Qt5, for example. Um, and of course, you can have packages and packages. I don't know if we can find something like this here, maybe matplotlib dot uh, axes. No, we don't have this here. Uh, matplotlib dot not sure if we're going to find this maybe in the back ends, maybe in no, okay. Uh, but if you have packages and packages, you can do the same thing. So you would have something like uh, library dot package one dot package, or you could say sub package one module something like this. 
So that is the basic idea. You have individual Python files with classes, with functionality, uh, with stuff to import. That's a module. The script you use to import all this and use all this is the script. And then you have packages, which are directories that contain one or multiple modules and also an init file. And then you have libraries if you have multiple packages and uh, modules. So you could also just have a single package and you can also just publish a package and then you can install it using pip. But if you have a library with multiple packages and modules and sub packages and so on, that is a library, not a package. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.